go. Get started a little bit. Show you what I'm working with. Okay. I just got to put this final nut nut on. But I think I'm laying on top of the washer, so give me a sec. All right, I gotta find a washer again. Just snug them up just a little bit to where we can keep them from sagging. But we're still going to have to make adjustments to the system once we get the rest of the parts and pieces. Alright, 
let's move on to the to the other side. Can you see that? Are you in frame? Yeah, that's what we're working with. All right, let's see what it sounds like.
those uh, first fire up with the down down tubes on. So still waiting on the X pipe. Exhaust showed up. Finally, let's do an inventory. X pipe with a directional arrow. We'll figure out what's where that. Well, we know where it's going to go. Just how it's going to go. Nice tailpipes. Let's get it laid out into the maybe how it's configured, go through the hardware. Installation instructions. Can you scan that? I don't know. This is the SCC10R. Band clamps. Some more hangers. Isolator blocks. U-bolt style clamps and four of 
the strap clamps, band clamps. which under the description, I didn't see anything mentioning any kind of hardware. So I went out and got 4 you, you, uh, U-bolt style clamps, stainless steel. And eight of the same clamps that it came with. So, we got our downpipe, and then depending on how the configuration is, <clears throat> I'm not sure where these go, but we'll figure that out. assuming like this. So I don't know if it, you know, how the pipe is going to, or the muffler. Are you seeing that? I'm assuming that the muffler is going to be side entrance, center exhaust. Perhaps. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clamping areas. 
And they sent eight. But there's also a hanger under the transmission housing, output shaft housing, part of the trans mount. There's a, an exhaust hanger that takes two um, U-clamps. So from the down pipe to whatever this pipe is, We're going to need one, two clamps, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve clamps total. I bought eight and four. And I forgot the, that in the back, on the muffler side, there's hangers uh, right by the rear bumper. But like I said, I didn't even know that it was coming with hardware, so um, I'm not going to use this. I may have to use some of these, but I'm not using any of this. I'm going to use the factory hanger and make it work with this. So hopefully there's no welding, not going extra back. holes into the frame because the Corvette already has those holes for the stock uh, exhaust mount or exhaust hangers. Not a bad kit. All right, so what we got to do is we got to modify the exhaust hanger that goes underneath the transmission. I had ordered this one, you know, dual exhaust, right? Oh yeah, it's going to be perfect. Well, they didn't have it marked or explained exactly what the application was for, for a TH400. Transmission is a TH400 for the dual exhaust. So I guess that's for the L82 and the L48 being a single exhaust with a catalytic converter. So a two in the one in the two, and this is true dual exhaust. For the turbo 400 turbo 350 uses that two and the one uh, back into two it's already been modified but for a two inch exhaust i got to put a two and a half inch clamp on there and then uh we'll see uh, what's up All right, so what we're doing now is we're doing a fitment test. All right, we got to loosen up the down tubes. We got our S pipes put in place. We got our X pipe hanging. What we got to do now is where did I put it? Right here. We got to put our exa 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 exhaust hanger 
underneath the transmission mount, kind of get it up in place. So it doesn't go under here, it goes from the mount to the uh, housing. All right, so we gotta, we're gonna loosen up these two bolts. We're gonna take those bolts out, slide it up underneath, rest it up in there, get our um, hanger for the driver side exhaust marked up, weld it up, and then uh, take it from there. But we got we got everything kind of loosely hanging. And we'll, uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll just uh, kind of figure it out. All right, take the time to pre-fit it. Make sure it's not hitting any of the mounts. It's not touching the, the cooling lines. All right, it's just about touching the, the transmission, but we can kind of pull it away from there. Right, the S pipes are left and right. Pipes did a really excellent job with, with fitment. And even in their instructions, they state before you cut weld and make unnecessary bends that that's a true statement take the time to do the fitment Not bad. So take the time to do the fitment first and then all it is is just adding clamps and adding the supports. So I just wanted to show you that first. We gotta go back to the transmission mount and uh, work that. And this is the device that I'm using to uh, help me uh, get that shot. So. If you've got a skateboard laying around and uh, you can use it to move the light around and yeah this is what I'm doing so this is what's making this video happen a real maple wood decked board <laughs> <laughs> 